Goaltender Andre Vasilevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning have come to terms on a mega contract extension. We'll get into all the details coming up next. So welcome back here to Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some breaking news from the NHL. Goaltender Andre Vasilevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning have come to terms on a mega contract extension for eight years, paying him an average annual value of $9.5 million. That puts the total value of this contract at $76 million. Of course, he's entering the final year of his other contract right now, paying him 3.5. And this new contract will kick in starting next year. Since he's entering the final year, he was eligible for an extension. And this is a big time deal for him and the Lightning. Now, of course, they still have restricted free agent forward Braden Point, who needs a new contract now. And yet that has not come to terms as of yet. It certainly will be interesting to see how they manage their salary cap situation. Having another mega contract here go on the books, kicking in for next year, certainly means that somebody's going to have to be moved out. We don't even know yet exactly what Point's contract's going to be. They still have to sign Adam Ernie as well so certainly going to be interesting to see how they go about this but let's take a look at the breakdown of this contract for Vasilevsky here and the Tampa Bay Lightning now if you see the breakdown here he has in year one an 8.5 million dollar signing bonus and a three and a half million dollar salary paying him 12 million dollars total in the first year year two is still pretty rich as well 10 million dollar signing bonus and a one million dollar salary for an 11 million dollars total in year three he will earn a 6.5 million dollar bonus and a 4.5 million dollar salary for another year of 11 million dollars in year four he only makes nine total which is a little bit less breakdown of five as a bonus and four as a salary in year five he then makes 4.5 million as a bonus 5.5 as a salary for a total of 10 million dollars and then in year six he makes a four million dollar bonus and a five million dollar salary for another year of nine million dollars and then the final two years he gets three million per year as a bonus and five million total as a salary for eight million dollars now of course this contract also comes with some trade protection now in the first year there is none because he's not quite eligible for that in his contract yet but that kicks in in year two for years two through five he has a full no trade clause so he cannot be moved at all in any capacity without signing off on it in the year six through eight he has a modified no trade clause which gives him an ability to list 10 teams that he would accept a trade to so, of course, this puts him up there with the highest paid goaltenders in the league, but some third highest behind Carey Price and Sergei Bobrovsky. The one difference, though, is Vasilevsky is a fair bit younger uh, than those two goaltenders. So I have no problem with the eight-year extension for a goaltender his age. But when you're signing a goaltender already 30-plus or near the 30s for an eight-year deal, it certainly poses a lot more risk, in my opinion. I understand the Florida Panthers going out and getting Sergei Bobrovsky on a seven-year deal this summer. They certainly needed an upgrade. He was the main guy available. Obviously, had interest in going to Florida so I don't blame them for going down that road but there is certainly some risk associated with that contract given uh, the amount of money and where he's at in his career and his age but Vasilevsky this certainly seems a lot less risky in my opinion he's a terrific goaltender uh, and he's a much younger goaltender as well so even though it might seem like a lot of money right now I don't think he's really fully reached his full potential yet He's certainly a Vezina Trophy winner as of right now. Uh, he's had some terrific regular seasons. They certainly need to take some further steps in the playoffs to get things done. And this team certainly is capable of winning a Stanley Cup. It's just a matter of getting it all together at the right time of year. Uh, so I do think as time goes on and we see other goaltenders uh, kind of get raises here, this certainly has the potential to look like a pretty solid contract down the road. But when you throw in Vasilevsky's contract, along with Sergei Bobrovsky, and of course, Kerry Price is a little bit older of a deal here, but still, those guys have kind of set the market here. I see a little bit of a shift in the goaltender market with some of the top goalies certainly earning some much more mega bucks here. Of course, after the Kerry Price deal was originally signed, he started running into some injury issues, kind of had to battle through some not so great play there for a little while. And I know there was many teams kind of shying away from those goaltender mega contracts, but now we have two this off season, which is kind of kind of have to shift things here again and obviously some of the other top goalies that are going to be coming due for new contracts here in the near future are going to be using these as comparables and certainly expecting to be paid somewhat comparably so let me know what you think of this contract between Vasilevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning and how do you think they're going to manage their overall salary cap situation I think it's fair to say there's definitely going to be some cap casualties and so we don't even have the Braden Point contract uh, finished as of yet so we don't know how that's going to end up what's the best way for them to manage this without losing anything too significant off their roster let me know down in the comments and we'll continue the conversation if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well I'd appreciate it if you did
As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.